Welcome back to another Shotcut video editing tutorial. In this video, we're going to learn how to export our project into a video or in any format we want. So to get started, I'm just going to type in something here. Um, we'll call it test2 and hit start. And so I have a video project here, just empty. We'll drag in a couple. I have some files on my computer. We'll drag in this one. And we'll also drag in this one. We'll drag in a few here. Ah. Pause this. So now I have a couple different video files I'm going to drag just down to the timeline. And in fact, we're not going to do the whole thing. We'll shrink this way, way, way down by left clicking here at the end of the video. We'll take this down to just a couple of seconds. And then we'll grab this one. And this way we're going to we're going to choose our in and out point of the video here and grab a few seconds of this. And then this last one, oops, put it right there. This last one I'm going to um, we'll bring it in as well, the whole thing. And I'll just select a portion here and go split at playhead. And we'll go split at playhead. Just so we can see a few different ways there to adjust the size of our clips. So now we have three different clips in here. And uh, I'll make this one a little bit longer. OK, we have three video clips in our project. We can play and see what this looks like. It's a four second video clip. <laughs> All right, that's a fun video. So we got about four seconds of video here. If we want to export this now, because we do have a project, we see when we're clicking on project, we have a timeline. We have three video clips in a single video timeline. And there's also audio associated with this video. Uh, we can export this. Intuitively, sometimes you, you people just think if you click file and go to save, it's going to save your video. That saved a test2.mlt. So it saved a video project file that we can then open up and it'll show it just like this. That's a good thing to do, but that's not a video we can play or upload to YouTube or share with friends. To get an actual video that we can share, we need to click on export. So we click export here and it brings up a new dialog over here. It actually was already here, by the way. We can toggle between playlist where we were looking at our different source files and export. We can just toggle between there. There's also filters properties but right now we're on the export tab and so if that gets closed or for whatever reason that's not showing up for you just click export and it'll appear somewhere in your interface but probably here on the, on the left it gives us some options for how we want to export this it says you know what do you what do you want to do do you want it to be um, for YouTube you can click YouTube it has a preset for that do you want it to be a WebM file extension do you want it to be um, just an mp3 just an audio file or we have all these different settings here, but for the most part, if you know a specific thing that you want, you can explore some of these other ones down here. But we're, we're just gonna do, um, I, I actually do a lot of this H.264 main profile, but I think it's very similar to YouTube. So I'm gonna click on YouTube, and we'll use this as our profile. So YouTube is now selected. All we have to do is hit export file, and it brings up this dialog that says, oops, says where on your computer do you want to save it? So we'll just we'll call it test.2. Let's save it under um, videos, and we'll call it test.2 under videos, and then hit save. And it takes we see it processing over here, so it's rendering this video. It's about 50% done now. Um, what it's doing is just going through. We didn't do many. We just did some edits, some splits is all we really did. So it is, it's done now. It didn't take too long. And now I can open up on my computer and go to videos, and I can find that video called test2. We can click play and we can play it and see what that video looks like. So that's it, just playing on the computer. Um, and that's an MP4 file. So if we wanted a different file format, um, we could choose one of these other ones. Like maybe we want to burn it to a DVD. And so I'm not quite sure actually how this will work if we can actually, if we go to export file. Yeah, here we go. So this is going to be a, a .vob file. So we hit save. And now it's just a different type of file that's kind of formatted ideally for burning to a DVD that's going to be played in North America, NTSC. Uh, if we want just the audio portion, we can click on this MP3 or WAV. Let's do MP3 and go to Export File. And now it's going to be test2.mp3. We hit Save, and it's all pre-configured, and that happened very quickly. So now when we go to that directory on, on my computer under uh, Videos, we see I have an MP3 file. It's just the audio portion of my video project. See that? 
and it's just playing in VLC player. So hopefully that kind of makes sense. There's lots of different ways you can export. It's not just one video. If you're not familiar with, with video formats, there's a lot of different video formats. But probably the safest thing for you to do is just click this YouTube format and export it in YouTube if you're going to be sharing this video on the web. If you're doing something more higher quality, you might do like this H.264 high profile um, or some of these other different profiles down here that maybe give you some more uh, detail and higher quality than just sharing online. Also, if you're curious about these, what's happening, you can click on advanced and it tells you more information about the codec being used, about how the audio is being saved, and you can actually make changes to this too if you know what you're doing. And you can save it as you know different containers, uh, different audio, different video formats. But that's if you know what you're doing. If not, just click on YouTube and export file. Uh, hopefully you found this video informative. Uh, in the next a uh, couple tutorials we're going to be playing more with applying video and audio effects, uh, working with multiple video and audio tracks in the same timeline. So stay tuned for that and catch you in the next video.